Hello. Hi. Um, just pop this pimple. This video is not one that I want to make at all because I don't really want to clean out my makeup. Yeah, but this kind of content is really popular on YouTube for some reason. So it is what it is. We're going to be going through this thing and that reminds me I need to get some paper towels and some cleaner. And yeah, we're going to um, declutter. I don't know how, how, how long this video is going to take me to film because I don't think it's just going to be today because I'm definitely not even going to get through the first bit without just wanting to not do anything. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, so this is the top drawer. I honestly don't ever go into it and I don't know why. Like maybe if I need, I don't even know. <laughs> so I'm going to take everything out of here and like obviously clean it. These are nail glitters I got from Amazon that I was supposed to do for like, you know, like euphoria inspired looks and stuff like that. I'm going to put that in my nail kit because I am, have been doing nail stuff lately. Not obviously right now because they all came off because I was experimenting with poly gel. Anyway, this story is stupid. Um, I'm just going to shut up and put this away right now. These are my Tati Beauty Blenderfuls. I, view, I need to wash this. Um, I don't mind it. It's not the best. But I want to keep using it, um, so I'm just going to put this somewhere where I can remember to wash them. Okay, I've got a bunch of lashes. Um, these are the Ronya lashes. I don't really like them, but I might just cut them in half and use them as like a half pair. Um, these are the Lily lashes in... I don't know. They've been used once. Um, oh, Mykonos. <laughs> they've been used once. Um, and then I've got these mani manicure lashes. They look kind of gross, so I might just throw this out. I might keep the glue it's always good to have like glue little glues in your little bags whenever you're out not that we're going out anywhere and some demi wispies from model rock which i'll just keep as half lashes because half lashes are always a fun time i think this box just has a bunch more other like um gemstones and things like that oh my god i don't know what to do with this is one of those like hair remover things so i might just put that in like i don't know what to do with it some band-aids okay i've got some hand sanitizing wipes um, some Dr. Barbara Sturm anti-pollution drops that I do want to try, but it's like, if I try it, will I want to buy it? Dr. Barbara Sturm is just not an option for me right now, or maybe not in the near distant future. So we'll see. Put that where, where I keep all of my testers. I have a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. I got a sample of Lancome. I have a Stila liquid eyeshadow. Is this the one that still works? Because I love these. This is like a weird duochrome one which I like, but yeah, I love these, but they do not last long. Like you can probably use it for like three months before they dry out, which sucks. Is this Stila? Yeah, it is. This is just a glitter topper from Stila, so I'm just gonna, I like that, I'll keep that. And I got all these ColourPop single shadows and a couple of MAC ones too. Oh my God, this was one of the first MAC eyeshadows. This and all that glitters. I got this cause I was like obsessed with Alpha Ella. So I'm gonna go through these and I'll let you know which ones I wanna keep. I had to be really harsh on myself, so I'm keeping two, four, six, seven, and then these I'm gonna put in a box to see if any one of my family wants them. Okay, this drawer is a bit of a nightmare. Well, not really. I barely go into it, but it's one of my favorite drawers. This is the first thing that I feel like I need to let go of. I feel like I've had this forever. I feel like I've had this longer than all of a lot of my other things. And it's time that it goes because this is broken. I can never seem to get it back on. And it is just, it's time. It's fucking time. Um, <laughs> I feel like I want to dedicate a whole video to this. I feel like I want to have dedicate like a memoriam to this, but I think this is enough. This is just, it's time to go. Um, we had fun top moments. I bought you for my Deb and um, yeah, I'm sorry, but this is just, gonna have to go I don't want to let this go because this was one of my favorite palettes I'm not even joking like I oh this is gonna be so hard I don't know what to do because I don't use it anymore it is pretty much like super expired and but I just have gone through so much with it 
Oh, I don't know. I'm going to put this in like a limbo and see what my, like, I'm going to call one section limbo and um, see what I feel about it in like a day. This is the same. This is, I spoke about this in my new by nature video, but this is like a palette that I had in like high school and I loved it so much, but I don't use it. I think I'm going to have to throw it out. Okay. I'm going to make my decision on this one and throw this one out, but this one, I don't know yet, even though it probably should be in the trash as well. Okay, this is new, so this is definitely not going anywhere. I haven't even tried it yet. This is also pretty new, but I did break it, I think. I think I broke it. Oh yeah, the blush is broken, but that can be that can be fixed with some alcohol, I think. Just leave that. But it's a very pretty palette, so I'm gonna keep that. My brother's making noise, so I have to close my door. This is the Naked 2 Basics. I got this as a present, but I don't think I'll ever use it because I have palettes that have colors like this and I feel like one of my aunties will get better use out of it because it's so basic or someone that I know will get better use out of it so I'm just going to put it in the box for um, anyone that wants to use it. I've maybe used it once or twice or I could put it in like a travel makeup bag but no I don't think I'd ever use it. I think I have other palettes like small palettes like this that I could use as travel makeup especially since I have these Charlotte Tilbury shadows which I mean, they're not the same shades or anything, but they're better quality. And um, if I was going to use anything to go traveling with, it's going to be something that's better quality than just this. I'm not saying that this is bad quality, but I've moved on, <laughs> you know. <laughs> this, this is good because like you, you can swatch it and it's like really nice. But that's like an overspray and this is one of those cheap, like really cheaply made eyeshadow palettes. And I think I'm just going to put this in a donate bin and if no one claims it, then I'm just going to throw it out because I don't use it at all. I have really good quality eyeshadows that are not this. This is one of those like kid shadows and I think I kept it because I really liked the colors and they're actually really pigmented. If you can see that, oh, not really. But I've got shades like this in good, better quality palettes and this is actually not even worth me trying to give to someone. I'm throwing this out. Oh my god, this is I got this from like one of those I'm gonna throw this out. I got this from one of those like discount makeup shops and honestly I really really like it. Like the shades are really pretty. Um I think what I would do is this by Red Earth by the way. And I'm gonna depot this and put it in one of my Z palette or my Morphe Z palette type of things and um yeah so I think I'm gonna keep this but I'm gonna put this somewhere else. <laughs> Too Faced Glitter Glue, definitely keeping that because that is my only glitter, pretty much my only glitter glue. I'm obviously keeping the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm keeping this because it's fairly new and it's really nice. This is the Nudes palette from Models Prefer. I was really into this. I got a lot of use out of this, but it's old and it's not worth giving to anyone, so I'm throwing this out. But we did have a lot of fun memories. Thank you and goodbye. Uh, um, oh my god, these palettes. You know what? Every time I look at them and I say I don't want to can you hear the rain? I don't want to get rid of them, but I think I'm gonna have to because I think that this is just like I never touch them. And oh my god, I loved this palette like these two shades. Oh my goodness! But these are older than old. Like these are just too old to keep around, and oh, it's gonna be hard to let them go because it just has so much sentimental value to it. But I'm not gonna use them. I don't think ever again. Should I just put them in limbo? No, I'm gonna throw them out. I'm. Goodbye. I have to be really hard with myself and I can't do this. Like, it's so hard for me. You do not understand. Maybe you do. I don't know. This, I don't know why I haven't thrown it out yet. Like, it's it's an Australis Neon Crush shade. I got these when they were, like, super on sale. And I pretty much threw out all the other ones. I don't know why I've kept this one. Yeah, I'm going to have to say goodbye to that one. Ooh, I might keep this one, though. Oh, my goodness. When I did a work experience at L'Oreal. But that was literally... How many years ago was that? Like that was 2013. No, yes, that was 2013. Maybe I should just throw it out. I probably have like three other shadows just like it. I don't know what this is in limbo. This one I'm throwing out. These, oh my God, I should just throw these out because these, I got them at the same time, but they're like loose pigments. I had a lot of fun with these, but I'm going to have to throw them out. Maybe keep this one because it's a really nice navy, but... Yeah, I'm going to throw the rest of these out. This sucks. I hate this. Oh, another ColourPop shadow. Oh, should I keep this? Oh, yes, I'm keeping that one. That's pretty. This Maybelline Color Tattoo. Why do I still have it? This is not nothing. Goodbye. Oh, another Red Earth shadow. Oh, that's pigmented. 
Ooh. I think I'm going to depot this one. These red earth shadows are good. Ooh, another color pop one. Why do I keep having them? Do I want this one? Oh, yeah, I might keep it. This Natasha Denona palette. I got this like three years ago. It was really nice. I'm going to keep it. I got more. I'm going to throw this out. Another red earth shadow. Mm. That one's pretty too. I'm depotting that. The rest of these. These are my Pride and Joy, aka my pigments. Oh, I've got a ColourPop glitter jelly though. Yeah. So these are my pigments. They're basically my Pride and Joy. Every year MAC, I don't think they're doing it this year though, but pretty much every year MAC does their, um, I'll organize while I talk, hopefully. You can... Every year, or usually they they didn't do it last year, which I'm assuming they're not doing it this year either. They do a pigment set and basically you don't even need like a full pigment. I mean, this is what a full pigment like bottle looks like. They used to actually be bigger like, back in the day day. Um, but these are the come out for Christmas and they're like, you're never even going to use one of these. <laughs> like they're literally the best value for money. And I used to collect them every year. My mom used to buy them for me. Um, so it was a really sweet thing that me and my mom, something that me and my mom had um, a very fond memory that I have with my mom um, who has passed away since so obviously I'm keeping these because they'll they'll never expire kind of thing so I'm gonna keep these I'm just gonna clean this thing and then organize them this is one of my favorites this is Kitchmas oh my goodness look how pretty it's such a such a beautiful like lavender silver shade oh this is from Essence I don't know if I want to keep it it's very pretty like nude shade this is from she on she and it's like a blue brown pigment from mac like dupe this was from the patrick star color no this is reflex rust this is a really pretty pigment from the patrick star collection this is from abh i literally bought this on selfridges and paid so much shipping for it and now i've cancelled abh but this is a very pretty shade Oh, this is from Astralis. This is their, um, was their take on the Magnificent Metals from Steela, but it's kind of janky. I'm going to throw this out. It's kind of gross. This is a loose eyeshadow from Nude by Nature. I used this in my recent video about Nude by Nature, and it's really, really nice. But it didn't last long on me, so I'm going to try this with a primer and see if I like it again. I've used this only a couple times. I don't know if I should keep it. Oh, no, that's nice. I'm going to keep it. Oh, my God, this is the prettiest thing ever. Lavender hologram. Oh my god, okay. I have so much space now that I can add some things from the lower drawer that are like just completely full. These Inglot pigments, I only have one of them. This is in number 22, but these are freaking amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Oh, do I want this? Liquid metal from. No, nah, I'm gonna put this in the donation box. Oh, I'm gonna break everything. Okay, this drawer. This is something that I'm kind of scared to open, but let's do it anyway. Oh my god. So, originally, this is like a eyeliner, primer, lashes. I don't know. This was like, I don't know. This was kind of like concealer, eyelashes, kind of like, just like tall skinny things, you know? But it's kind of just become a plethora of shit. And this is the one that I'm dreading the most. <laughs> so I'm going to take everything out, clean it, and kind of maybe slowly go through it with y'all. Okay, I got a shoe box. I'm just going to put everything in. in here because this makes more sense and then just like eyeliners and stuff and then anything that's like big and primary or like foundation-y just put in here cute so let's do that samples go in the sample area oh brows brows go in here this is a oh i loved this but it's like four years old oh limbo Sleek Solstice. Oh my goodness, this is in the wrong drawer, but oh. Limbo. I shouldn't be doing that a lot. That should not happen. 
oh I loved this foundation but it's basically empty and gross this is the I did a review on this at the time and it was really nice it's from models prefer but I have moved on to bigger and better things so it's time to go thank you for the memories though <laughs> a little puffed do I want this I'll put this somewhere over there figure that out later oh primers eye primers concealer lash glue I have two of these Pat McGrath like under eye powders and they're both shattered so I'm going to have to fix those which makes me very sad but I'm going to put this here because there's more space for it to not get smashed <laughs> this is old Bobbi Brown fucking glitter that was in like an outlet mall no thank you goodbye Kat Von D studded kiss do I want yeah. tester Colourpop glitters and jelly much this is really nice. This is from the Disney Villains collection. Does this even have any pigment? See what I mean? There's like literally nothing. Should I throw this out? I feel really bad. I kind of wanted to save it, but there's like nothing. I'm going to throw this out. I'm going to put this in my empties, actually. I'm going to rant about it there. I never thought I never even used this. Interesting. Oh, I do have another glitter glue. Where was the other one? Oh, here. What's this? Love this. Okay. Just yeah. some MAC stuff. Some eyeliners. So, this is the, and this is the 77 gel liner by Inglot. And right now it's dried up because it does dry up, but I have um, their like mixing medium called Duraline, which saves this. And it's such a great eyeliner. It's like, does not come off. Oh my god, Nukes Revd Emil Lip Balm. I probably need to throw this out, but I can't even finish it. Colourpop Super Shock Highlighter. Oh my god, I have almost finished this. I feel like. Should I keep it? I feel like I should. I'm gonna put this in limbo. <laughs> oh, another one of these Colourpop glitters. They're so nice. Oh my god, MAC Pro Longwear. It's almost done. I might keep it just to finish it because this is such a freaking amazing concealer, but I think it's just got hidden by all the other concealers that I've used. Oh my god, Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. Yes, best thing ever. Actually, I'll put this here because it's one of these, like, single loose shadow things. So much fucking concealer. Oh my god, this next concealer is so nice. Should I keep this? This is it's just literally, literally just black. No, throw that out. So I have to be just super strict on myself these days. My back is starting to hurt. I feel like an old lady. I got this recently. It's the KVD um, like eyeliner. And it's alright, but I feel like it just blends into my skin tone. Oh, great. Okay, I realize now you have to shake it. So that's interesting. Glitter. This conceal by Nibra Nature. I feel like I should just throw this out because I will never touch it. It's like... Not that much in it though. I might use it a little bit. We'll see. I feel like this is... If you remember this product, then you are a veteran. This was like the only like liquid highlighter you would buy. Like the only one. Because it was the only one on the market. God, it's still so pretty. So nice. Oh, I'm going to finish it off because it's got like one left in it. And if I get like a disease, then that's on me. Why do I have so many benefit brow products? I'm not keeping this. That's no, not gonna happen. What's this? Slash Topia. They have minerals. I don't remember when I having this. Oh, it's kind of good. Okay, this I'm not keeping. This was like a sports girl. Like I don't know what it is. It's like gushy, ushy gushy. Like no, look at that. It's like what am I supposed to do with that? No, thank you. Goodbye. That's not even worth giving to someone. Oh my god, this. I thought I got rid of it. This Benefit Erase Paste is the best corrector in the world. It's so old. I should throw it away. But yeah, I should throw it away. Wow, I'm sad. They don't make this anymore, which sucks. This is the best corrector. <laughs> I'm putting this in my empties. God, that was such a good I, don't, I wish they still made it. Because then I'd buy like... I'd buy a new one. If they made that still, I would buy a new one. Like... 
because that's the best cracker I've ever used and I can't believe I haven't used it in so long and just never finished it because that makes me really sad that I never finished it. This drawer is a nightmare. God, I need to finish all these concealers. Oh my God, my By Terry concealer. I need to remember to use this, that's good. This is what I've had trouble thinking about. This is my MAC paper and Painterly and I think I'm going to put this in my empties, clean it out and then take it back to MAC because this was, this and one lipstick was the first thing I ever bought from MAC and it's really sad to try to let it go but I'm going to have to because it's like really gross at this point. Like this was bought in, I literally remember the date, it was like May 2012. <laughs> And I'm really sad to let this go, but I have the memories, so I'm just going to put this in my empties and then clean it out and take it back to MAC. Hopefully they still take things from 2012, because i got a Fix Plus that I haven't taken since, like, that time. I know that I didn't get too far in this, but that's all that's going to happen, because I refuse to take anything out of this. I refuse. Try me. Like, literally try. Like, maybe these could go, because I have primers that I really want to try that, like, are literally, like what the fuck is the point but I feel like I can finish these like I feel like I'm on the tail end of them and I'm gonna finish those goodbye now this drawer too is somewhat of a nightmare this is my lip drawer and I think that I can get rid of a lot from here if I'm not too possessive <laughs> let us see as you can tell I have probably hundreds of the same color I have an empty tampon container. That's weird. Guys, I'm so weird. This is freaking dumb. So as you can tell, I'm a bit of a hoarder. Like, just a little bit, you know? I um, love lipsticks a little too much. And this is filthy. I have my lip liners and, like, liquid eyeliners and stuff in, like, a little thing on my desk. So... You're not going to see any lip liners here, maybe. Who knows what's even going to come up, but... Yeah, so let's go through this. Let's go, um... Let's just see if I'm going to keep anything. I might just throw all these ColourPop ones out. Because, I don't know. Who should I? Put all my liquid lipsticks. I'm going to throw... I don't even know if I can throw anything out. This is really hard. This lip balm needs to go, though. This is disgusting. Oh, this lipstick. Oh. This is like a go-to lipstick of mine, like I always wear it, so I'm going to keep that. These are all new, like these Charlotte Tilbury ones that I got from my mystery box. Oof, that is so pretty. I'm obviously keeping Charlotte Tilbury. I want to kind of have like a box to display. I'll show you my cart later because that has lipsticks in there that are like more high-end that I like to display. This Meet Matt Hughes, I'm going to throw this out because this was not a vibe. Like I wore it maybe three times and it's really old. This is, oh, I wore this so much. Oh my God, I don't know. I'm going to keep this too. Well, these are new from Nude by Nature, and I love these, so I'm going to keep these. Maybe I should just throw this out because I've got, like, a million more to replace it, and it's old. This is so fucking annoying. What do I do? Okay, I'm going to keep this. I'm really bad at this, guys. This is not fun, like, the lip section. I barely wear any of these. Oh, my God. I feel like I should throw these out. I'm going to put these in the donation. Uh... <laughs> okay. No, I'm going to throw these out, like, in the trash because... No. I'm not going to wear them. And if I was to wear a shade like that, I'd probably buy a new one. I'm going to throw this out because if I buy a brown one, it's not going to look like that. I'm kind of proud of myself for doing that, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. Love bug. Bye. Oh, no. That is... That's gross. This is... I have a lot of JSC lip products. These are new, so I'm not going to throw them out. But I'm trying to learn from my mistakes. I shouldn't have been as into JSC as much as I was. And I regret all of it, but we're learning from our mistakes, hopefully. Oh, this was from Colourpop, and this is such a pretty colour. I used to wear this all the time. I'm keeping it because I, like, love this colour. If I don't wear it, and I notice that I don't wear it, then I'm just going to throw it out. This is another one of those ones, but this is, like, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should decide between both of these. Oh, this is so pretty. I can't decide. Oh, fairly new, so I'm going to keep that. This is um, Ho 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 by Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and... Ho ho no. Trash. Oh, this is really nice from Pretty Beauty. Oh my god. This MAC lip gloss is... I love this so much. I think it was from the Patrick Star collection. 
such a pretty gloss. It's cheap at work from the Patrick Star Collection. Oh, this one is still in good shape from JSC. And it's such a pretty color. I'm going to keep it. But i got to wear it. This is Times Square. But no. This is like almost out. And I don't wear colors like this anymore. So I'm going to throw that out. Okay, I'm just going to keep going. I'm not going to bore you to death with too much information. I'll probably just edit it out anyway. Oh, Stila in Patina. This is one of my faves. But that is not... It's out. It's not. Oh, this is an unopened butter gloss in Apple Strudel, so keep that away. Oh, no. These were supposed to be like the Matte X Lippy Sticks by Colourpop that were like the best things in sliced bread, and it was honestly not even that good. I'm going to throw this out because that's disgusting. Oh, this, even though JSC in Design of Blood, this was gorgeous. Like, such a pretty colour. It's like Rep by MAC. Like, so pretty. I'm going to keep this one. Oh my god, I loved Chrysanthemum by JCS. Okay, I'm going to keep these because they're good. What am I going to tell you? Okay, this is Drug Lord and this is not, like, it's not applicable. It's just not applicable. And Doll Parts. Like, none of these from the Christmas collection in 2015 I should even think about keeping. Now that I think about it, I'm thinking that these I'm just going to put in my donation bin because I thought I was going to be obsessed with them, but I've kind of grown past these NYX um, butter glosses and stuff. Like, I've got so much other stuff. But if I ever want to go back to them, then I can literally just buy them because they're so cheap. Um, even though Khan, I bought like, like, I literally bought two backups of it, like a Priceline sale because I thought I was going to be obsessed with it. But we've moved past them. I want to put this in the donation. I want to be good. Oh my god, this is a Sports Girl lip topper and eye topper. Oh, this is pretty. I'm going to put this in the glitter box. Glitter drawer. Oh my god, Lime Crime Pink Velvet. I remember when I got this. This was so long ago. Why does it still look good? Why does it still swatch so good? This is the one of the OG liquid lipsticks. Like back, like I feel like Lime Crime and NYX invented liquid lipsticks. And as much as it's really pretty, I need to throw this out because it's that old. But it was nice to nice to know you, you know, nice to know you. Oh, I got this recently, so I'm gonna keep this. But look at this gloss. Look at this peachy freaking gloss. Nah, that is gorgeous. Oh, this was a moment but the moment has expired okay this no that needs to be thrown out like it's already gone she's already dead fancy gloss ones from last year's christmas they are a commodity they're not going anywhere oh my god this is mini charlotte lipstick look at how cute it is oh my god this this was my impression of like mac velvet teddy before i had mac velvet, mac velvet teddy because I thought that like the Kylie Lip Jenner phase was a thing. But this is going to go goodbye because I'm never going to wear it again. <laughs> I have moved on. These are so good. These are from Colourpop and they're so nice. These are like no makeup makeup like lip balms. They, they remind me so much of those Revlon ones mixed with like the Revlon lip butters. The ones that I just showed you. It's like hybrid. So good and so cheap. And they smell so good. Oh my god that smells amazing. It's another one of those... Rimmel K lipsticks that I was obsessed with, but this is also like been used and abused. I'm gonna turn down the brightness so that you guys aren't like blinded by my hands. This model's preferred lip tint. No, thank you. Like this is separated. Even when I bought it, it was like separated as fuck. Like, oh no, actually this one's pretty. <gasps> I'm gonna keep this. No, I'm keeping this. Sorry, this this is a lie. I'm keeping this. That's a lie. I'm putting this in here. I'm using it as a, a good blush. The other one, I think, was separated that I got from that line. Shanghai Susie. I went far and wide in the city looking for one of these lipsticks. And I will never wear this. But I kind of want to keep it. What do I do? Limbo. Limbo. Didn't I just keep it? Oh, I have two of these. What the frick? When did I get... Oh, I think I got this in like a sample and then. I'm try it out. Oh no, 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 no. Why? Well, I just have to get a new card because uh, I filmed too much apparently.
that needs to be bleached. <laughs> that needs to be rinsed heavily. Oh, I used to love this lip liner for Maybelline. <laughs> I used to love it. That's nothing. Goodbye. I remember this was like a dupe for the Lime Crime. Oh my god, I still have it. This was like what I bought before I got the Lime Crime cashmere. Like this was like on everyone's wish list back in the day. I don't know if anyone remembers it. But like the Stone Lips vibe of like 2015 was like... It's just been super embedded into my brain, but... Oh, this is pretty, but I feel like I... I just feel like these both just are not... I don't know, when would I ever wear cashmere ever again? Like, literally never. That's sad. I'm gonna say goodbye to this, but... It was a fun time while we... I might give this to my sister. She probably won't want it, but I'm gonna put it in my donation box and see if anyone would want these two. Okay. Oh my god, this needs to go. This was iconic. I loved this so much. But... <laughs> it's literally lacquer. Like, no. God, I've stand so many problematic brands. It was so bad. This is literally concealer. My concealer shade. I think I'm going to put this in the donation box and see if anyone would want this. <laughs> I got rid of one of these from like the Anastasia pack from last year because it was just like way too pale but oh should I keep this one I'm gonna keep this one but it's like not my vibe. It's like peachy. But I don't think I've ever worn a peachy lipstick in my life. I don't know. Oh, this was nice, but like I wore it literally once and it's from like five years ago. <laughs> I wore this Winky Lux lipstick that my friend got me for my birthday, but I haven't used it because I just think of it more as like, like an art piece, you know, because it's pretty. I think it's a lip balm though, or like a lip gloss kind of thing. Oh my god. Why did I buy this? Oh no, this was from my, this is from the mystery box. Oh my god, this is completely done. Goodbye. Probably the first time I've like completely used up a lip balm. These nude by nature lip glosses are literally everything. Judging by the amount of sheer amount of lipsticks I have, like, why don't I ever wear them? Like I literally wear the same thing every time. I'm going to another one of those, like, sepia shades. I feel like I'm just going to keep it. And if I don't wear it, then I'm just going to give it to someone because it's pretty ridiculous. Oh, this is so nice. Look at that. I could wear that over that and, like, have a look. Oh, I just got this in the mail. This is Cinnamon Swirl by Dose of Colors. I haven't worn it yet. This looks so pretty. That's pretty. <laughs> I'm doing surprisingly well. Like, I honestly thought I would do worse than this. Oh, this is a pretty shade from Mecca Max. Oh, Riot by Lime Crime. Oh my god, this was a riot and a half. Like, this is such a pretty shade. I'm gonna keep it, even though it's really old. The star would kill me. This is Christmas Cookie. This is a really pretty shade. I like it. I'm gonna keep it. I think I'm gonna get rid of these two, though. Like, Mistletoe is completely, like, non-existent and crocodile tears it, like she exists but i think i might just put her in there mm, she's a bit liquidy but i'm gonna put her in the donation bin this from revlon is literally just these now with um colourpop but colourpop makes them much cheaper and these don't even exist anymore but i think i bought this recently because i saw like leanne says i think and she like is obsessed with honey by um Revlon, I got this recently, and I thought, because she likes it so much, and, like, it's basically, like, you can't get them anymore, and surprisingly, you still can get them in Australia, so I got this, and I think it's really nice. I got this lip primer that I still haven't even used properly, so I'm going to try that. Oh. This is such a good NARS liquid lipstick. It's like, do I have any variation in colors that I like? Like, 
Like that's literally that one. And a dose of colors in stone. I had truffle, where's truffle? That's weird. So, we did that one. Don't know how, but we did. Probably should have gotten rid of more, but that's that's all that's gonna happen. I'm, I'm sorry, but that's all that's gonna happen. The lip draw was pretty bad, but this one is probably worse. <laughs> this is like my face draw and it's pretty overflowing. Like, this is not okay. Okay, so, first of all, this top palette, I got it because I thought it was pretty, but it's lackluster and I'm gonna kind of clean it off <laughs> so I can give it to someone. <laughs> For me, I expect more to come out of eyeshadows. For someone that like doesn't wear much makeup that I could give it to, would probably like it better than I would. So I'm gonna give this to someone. And it's good enough to give away because it hasn't been used that much. Same thing with the Jeffree Star Princess Cut. When I got it, I think I got it for my cousin, but then we ended up getting her something else and it was just like no point in giving her this. So I was like, I'm gonna keep it. But like, and it's all right. Like it's, it's okay. I mean, not really, it's not really good, but. Just like this Desi Danger highlight that I'll show you later from Morphe, um, which I'm thinking I'll give away to. Even though they're good, I'm just not really into the pinky highlights at this moment in time. And if I was, I probably wouldn't have this as my first choice. So good night and goodbye. I'm definitely gonna keep this because this was like, like a treasure for me to find. Like when I found it, I was like, oh my god, I love you so much. Um, this is like the Becca palette that kept supposedly going out of stock and into stock and out of stock and into stock um i don't know it caused some controversy with jacqueline hill as i mean what doesn't ever what doesn't ever cause controversy with jacqueline hill am i right but this is really pretty palette it's got champagne pop prosecco pop and then three blushes which are really pretty so i'm gonna keep this oh i got this in a mystery box from jeffree star and it's actually really nice i don't know if i should keep it it's actually really pretty like I think I'm going to keep it. I might depot it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to keep it because that's pretty. Um, if I don't use it in the next, like, time, I, by the next time I declutter, then I will get it, rid of it. But it's actually really nice. Well, I only got this recently from Too Faced, but it smells really good. And it's an eyeshadow palette, so it shouldn't be in here. But look at that. Look at that. That's so pretty. This BOIS trio. Um, I actually really liked this. It's, like, a really cheap, like, brand in Australia. But... I'm going to move on. I'm going to throw this out in the bin because I will, it's really old and yeah, um, but it was very nice blush trio, but very pigmented and it won't be missed to be honest, but yeah. Oh, this is a sleek blush palette that my friend got me when she was overseas when I was in like high school and it's got a really nice cream blush. Oh no, some spilt. Oh no. I literally sound, I'm so Australian, that's disgusting. But I'm going to get rid of it. I'm actually going to throw it in the bin, I think, because it is old. And as much as I really liked it at the time, we're moving on. This is Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It's almost done and I have a backup. Um, Laura Mercier Indiscretion Highlighter. This was my freaking jam. Oh my God, I was obsessed with this. And I'm going to keep it because I feel like I could finish it. It's one of those, like, lit from a within highlights. Um, and I'm really into that lip from, from within highlight, even though it doesn't look as nice because I've swatched it over like I don't know I've swatched a lot of things you can't really see anything but it's really nice I'm gonna keep it because I love it this is an essence highlighter from like from true longer it's the Justin Bieber collection and it's in swag and I keep this just for the meme I guess it's not really that good of a highlighter but it's in swag and I kind of want to keep it but I don't know if I should this is really stupid that I would keep this out of everything else, but I'm putting this in limbo because I kind of like it and I kind of want to keep it, <laughs> but it's so stupid, like literally so freaking dumb. A Astralis Fresh and Flawless powder that I literally haven't touched, but it's like pretty new. I should keep it and should use it because it's they're really easy to go through and they're such a good powder. They're a dupe for the Max Studio Fix powder if you're ever looking for it, but they don't have a good range. And from what I remember, they don't have a good range. Um, Marc Jacobs, I recently got this one, I'm keeping this Marc Jacobs bronze, it's nice. I got this when I was in America, this is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. This is pretty, I'm going to keep it for now, but I 
kind of have like really similar ones and it's really similar to this is the whisper of guilt highlighter from mac which is really really popular and they're really kind of similar but this one's a bit more gold um lighter gold and this is kind of more bronzy i'm gonna keep both of them i'm gonna get rid of this, this is the mineral models prefer mineral soft touch powder i got this because i wanted to find i was like oh my god i'm gonna be a beauty blogger and i'm gonna find a dupe for the i'm gonna find a dupe for the hourglass um ambient lighting powders and this does a good job as you can see but i just don't reach for it at all and there's no point in me keeping it so i'm gonna donate it to someone because it's still in pretty good shape oh my god this is the hourglass ambient strobing light in euphoric strobe light and this i've hit pen on and i will finish it this will be the first highlighter i will ever finish it's one of my favorite highlighters like look at that I don't know if you can see that, but it's really pretty. I'm going to finish it because I've already hit pan on it and there's no stopping me now, you know? <laughs> no, this was one of my favorite bronzers ever. I This is the Neon Crush Collection like we saw before from those shadows. And this is the best bronzer I've ever used. It's got kind of like a gold sheen. You don't, mm. you don't see it when it's on the cheek. Like I use it as a bronzer and a contour. And I kind of want to keep it just to try it once more and then throw it out because... It's old, I shouldn't have it, I shouldn't keep it, but it was one of my favorite things I've ever used in my life. And I don't even know if the, this is the same Australis bronzer that like they have in their regular collection, but this was literally the best bronzer I've ever used. So, oh my god, this is also from the Essence Justin Bieber collection, the Beauty Beats, and this was in Groupie at Heart, and this one I will throw up because it's not called Swag, even though it's a very pretty blush, but... You can see it's got like all that hard pan. It's just gross. But this is the Hourglass Blush in Diffused Heat. It's very pretty. I call it the, the bacon blush. Um, so I think it's got diffused light mixed with um, the blush, which is diffused heat. It's very pretty. i keep that. Oh my god, this I need to throw out. This is literally when I went to Europe in 2012. And it's from it's from um, Yves Rocher. And it's their blush in Claire Rose. And it was a nice blush for while it lasted, but I don't know. It's just not, it's just not, it just doesn't call out to me, you know? Taja Silk Canvas, keeping that of course. Guerlain Terracotta Mineral Terracotta. I got this for my birthday a couple of years back, but I don't feel like I use it. It's nice. I'm going to keep it because it is loose and it doesn't expire as fast, but um, i gotta I got to get my use out of this, you know? MAC Perfect Topping. Um, mineralized skin finish which is shattered but is a very pretty highlighter oh i've just oh my god literally the smallest pressure i keep cracking it so i might press it repress it who knows but it's a very pretty highlight and i'm gonna keep that but i will clean it up i promise maybe i shouldn't promise things that i don't i won't keep up i don't know <laughs> can i speak oh my goodness i need to throw this out because this is gone this is the this doesn't even exist anymore, I don't think. I got this one Urban Decay opened in Mecca Cosmetica. There's literally a haul where I hold this. It's a naked medium light. And this was such a pretty powder. I think I can still use it, but yeah. This was a good powder. I might just finish it. It would, might take me like a week, but I might finish it. But yeah, I'm going to keep this because um, I'm going to finish it and then put it in my empties. So like Tanda Chanel, this should probably be thrown out too. But I'm going to keep it because I'm going to finish it. Because I've had it for ages and it hasn't finished yet. Apparently they've reformulated it and it's bad. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to keep it because it is very precious to me. Oh my god. By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. Oh my god. This is the best powder. One of the best powders by Terry. Like, yeah. Apparently they have a pressed version of it now. So it won't like puff up in the air like it always did. But this was my favorite thing in the world. And I've got a little bit to go, so I can keep that. Ooh, Virgin Blush by New by Nature. That was a very good one. Oh my god, it's a 10 by Benefit. I should probably get rid of this because this is old. But this was my first Benefit Box Blush. This is very nice. I don't know what to do. Should I throw it out? I'm going to put it in my... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to put it in my empties and then I'm going to throw it out because I'm probably never going to use this again because who's going to use those shades? Like who? Who the frick is going to use those shades? Oh my god, this is the Hourglass the first ever edit that they ever had the ambient lighting palette and this has served me so well like how have i not even hit pan on this i've used this so much over the years and i love it 
and I don't know if I was if I want to get the um the new palette for this holidays because the ghost one from last year looks so much better than this than the, this one this year and the quad doesn't look as good because I wanted the blush shades that were in there I don't know but yeah I'm going to keep this obviously Okay, so this is the new Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, which I'm keeping. These are from Sigma, which I literally just got. Like, I haven't even used them. So this is the blush in in the saddle, which can be used as a bronzer if I need it, if I want it to be. And this is the one in Nymphia. Nymphia. It's pretty. Um, Elf Putty Primer. I literally just recently got this, and I've used it a couple times, and it's very nice. And it's um, it's like a luminous version that they have. They have like a luminous version and a matte version, like a regular version, and it's comparable to the Tarte Silk Primer. I'm gonna Tarte Blush in Captivating, which is a very pretty blush. I like it. Give that extra beauty highlighter in Lucent, which is like a nice lip from Within highlighter, which I love. This two Mac um, powders from the Limited Edition Collection. It's um, Into Eternity, which is a nice blush, which is really pretty. And this is a bronzing powder called Sun Soaked Strip, and I love this. It's a really nice bronzing and contouring powder. Um, Jouer, I love this one. I'm keep this one because it's also very recent. Um, and Milani, this is such a pretty blush. This is Milani Romantic Rose Blush. But that one was in Mary Color and Milani Lumiere, so which is like an iconic shade. So I'm gonna keep that obviously. Um, this is my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronzer below. I didn't, uh, did uh, my Charlotte. It was in my Charlotte Tilbury video, which is my Chanel. Got any Tarte highlighter. Got Mac Warm Soul. This is new. I have always wanted this blush. Um, the Anastasia Amrezi highlight. How pretty is that? You can't get this anymore. Is that when I was in America? Thank you. I'm so happy that I got it. Oh, this is such a pretty um, blush by Australia. So pretty. And this is a blush that I got from Charlotte Tilbury. And then this is MAC Gimme Sun, which is a fancy powder. Mac, oh, this is my Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> Airbrush Falls powder. And it's such a good powder, like with one of the best powders. Um, this is my Nikita Joy um, Velvet Finishing Powder. This is new. I recently got that. Um, this is mm, Jeffree Star Diamond Wet. And I'm gonna, I think I'm going to keep it because it's very pretty. But I literally don't reach for it, so I might declutter it at some point. I'm going to give this to someone because, as I said, with the princess cut, it's not my thing. Like, it's pretty, but I've used it maybe once or twice. And this Burberry highlighter I got for, like, with, like, a gift card for one for my birthdays, and it's so pretty. This is, like, the pinky kind of highlight that I would use. And a little Becca champagne pop that I got. Okay, so that, we didn't get, we maybe got rid of, like, two things from there, so that's, um, that's a fun time. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I would be better at that. I wasn't. So, this is from like this Becca primer that I haven't used in ages, and I thought I was, I'd be able to get some out of it, something out of it, because I have like a makeup spatula. So I might keep that just to finish it up, put that on the top where my foundations are. So this drawer is just bits and bobs, like it's got lashes. Um, I got some new stuff, like just refills. I've recently got some Kevin Kwan things from the makeup show um, sales. So I got some central skin enhancers and stuff that I have yet to try. Um, and then I got, yeah, so I just kind of got like stuff that like back stock kind of thing. I got Kevin Kwan, like this eyeshadow palette. So I want to try. Um, I have, oh, this powder from Revolution. It's just like kind of like a baking powder kind of thing. So just random stuff. Um, oh, I recently got Melanie Mills, like, gleam stuff. So that's really exciting. I really want to try those. Um, so yeah, it's just got a whole bunch of, like, like back stock and, like, moisturizers. Um, I got all of these, like, lashes. Um, lashes. I got all of these mascaras here and here that I have yet to open. So, um, glitter, um, pocket backs, just a whole lot of random stuff. Hair stuff, hair tools, random other lashes in here. Oh my god, is this? No way. This is my Lee Wally BB cream from like 2012. Like, it's probably like disgusting. I need to throw this out, but this is like the OG of the OG BB creams. This and the Skin 79 one, which I'm pretty sure I still have as well. Because if I have this one, then I have that one. But I'm going to throw this out because it is way past its time. That's sad, but I had to do it. I had to do it to them. And then this is just also more back stock, like more setting sprays. Um, my backup of my um, Laura Mercier. I got some back stock of like Charlotte Tilbury stuff. Um, a random simple cleanser that goes with the simple moisturizer that I probably just need to just use. Um, and then I got, ooh, I got lashes. I got these extra beauty lashes. Well, they're pretty. Um, and then I got like some vitamin E face base, like a backup of that. I got 
I, I've got a whole bunch of new concealers that I haven't used. I got some of these um, Revolution ones that like I got as backups. Um, which I'm mad that I got them because I've got these other ones. I've got some Wonder Glow by Charlotte. I've got Stila. I've got this Pat McGrath um, concealer. I've got Jouer concealer. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a shot. Yeah, I have a shot. I have a Benefit Hello Happy Foundation. Kit. Like in the darkest shade for me. Like this would not suit me. We've got some Benefit Tart Shape Tape. I've got some tiny like Prove and Prime Fix Glosses. Yeah, so this is just like backups and this was like, last but not least, that's just a nail drawer which I barely even use because I do gel on myself um, because the um, shops aren't open. But it's good to have that stuff there in case. Okay, so I'm kind of tired and I've got like this dresser here that's full of just skincare products and hair products. And I got my desk over there which is full of skincare products and brushes and miscellaneous items and then I got above here which is above my Alex 9 drawer which has a bunch of foundations and stuff and these foundations are either almost done or like I'm like not getting rid of them but I'll show them in another day because I'm just too tired at this point but I might just go really quickly through this cart here um this cart just has a lot of like pretty much new stuff like I've got some like my vitable like my vitamins so I'm gonna put that somewhere that's not my makeup stuff I got this that I got from Priceline I think and it's got a Chanel highlighter um Morphe lipsticks, Pat McGrath lipsticks, MAC lip glosses, Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Oh, here's my truffle by Dose of Colors. Okay. Um, when did I get this? This is birthday suit by Jeffree Star, but like I don't remember buying this. Let me... Okay, I'm going to keep it, but I don't think I will wear it. If I don't, I'm just going to give it to my sister. I got my Dior lip oil. I got some Colourpop lipsticks. I got my Danessa Myricks, my Do Wet um, Balm, and I got... Do You by Too Faced and the Lancome Powder, which I all love, which I love all of them. I got my Sephora Glow Stick. I love all these, like, you know, glass skin type products. I got my Flower Beauty Powder. I got this Mecca Max, like, thing that I got in, like, a beauty loop box. It's, like, a liquid glow. Like, anything glowy, it, like, literally screams my name. Like, I can't help it. it sucks because I literally haven't worn any makeup during this ISO, and I was trying to, like, do makeup looks. And I'm pretty shit at it. Not gonna lie. I got another duet powder because I got like the nude shade and I got the translucent shade because I thought I'd need both of them, which I don't. Um, I'm just disgusting. Um, and then I got, oh, this is such a good primer. This is the Anna Sui Black Primer Water, which is great primer water if you like like the thin kind of primers. Um, I got some Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. <laughs> um, and then I've got a whole bunch of MAC lipsticks down here. Um, and then I got some random stuff. Like I got some Pat McGrath palettes here. These little ones. Um, yeah, I got a lot of shit, basically. And then I got all these palettes. And I might go through my palettes at another, de another later day. But there are some that I, I do want to get rid of. Um, first of all, I want to get rid of the Mi Vida Loca palette by Kat Von D. Because I have... I just... I have... We know we just grown past this. This was really pretty when it came out. I was obsessed with it. But... There weren't rainbow palettes back then, so I'm going to be putting this in the donation bin. Um, and if no one claims it, then I'm just going to throw it out because it's, I mean, it's okay. But like the colors aren't, you know, we have, we've grown accustomed to having something that it's a bit better quality. And not that the shades aren't pigmented and don't swatch well or anything. I mean, they really don't swatch that good. They're a bit chalky, but they're very dry and um, it's allowed to not be your thing. And I don't know why I've held on to it for so long because I haven't used it in that in a very long time. I got this recently, the Starlit palette by Make It Forever because it was so cheap, but it's just, the shades aren't that pigmented. And I feel like one of my aunties that doesn't like too much makeup would enjoy this more than I would um, because I expect pigment and I expect payoff and I do crazy looks and stuff and this is not, this is not crazy. Going back to the Naked Basics, this is another, this is the Naked, I mean, okay, Ultimate Naked, Naked Ultimate Basics. I saw this at like TJ Maxx when I was in America and I was like, oh my god, I used to want this so bad, but when do I, have, when am I ever going to use this? When? Otherwise I will go through my palettes at a later date, but, but it's just, this is just too many and I am honestly really, really, really proud of my collection and this is new, this is the... This is the Beauty Bay palette with Nikki Tutorials, which I really want to try out. 
it's hard for me to let go of a lot of these eyeshadow palettes because I'm really proud of my collection. I'm really happy with my collection. So yeah, that's my eyeshadow palettes and I might do my skincare and my foundations at a later date, but that's about it for today. I can't do any more. I'm dead. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and whatever. Hopefully, I don't watch that many declutter videos, so I don't know what the format is, but I just know that they're really popular because people just like seeing like cleaning videos and stuff. Like, it wasn't a very big cleaning video. I didn't get rid of that much stuff anyway. But yeah, hopefully, this will have some sort of give some sort of enjoyment to you because I have just let go of a lot of stuff that I mean, I didn't let go of that much, but I've let go of a lot of stuff for me, and it's I still I don't know. It, there's a lot that's still left, which I'm happy about because I like having stuff, but I don't know. I, I really liked the idea of letting go, but I'm not, I'm not good at letting go. And there's 50% of the stuff here probably I should just let go of, but I just couldn't. So yeah, um, thank you again. Um, I maybe teach me something, maybe get me to watch more of these so that I can actually be better at letting go of stuff. But yeah, otherwise, thank you for watching. I will see you next time and goodbye.